I'm Carol Nowak. Uh, I'm the director of marketing at The Raven, and I run this thing. Um, okay, tonight, as you can see by the whole vibe here, we have seven clowns tonight. We just think they're kind of corny. I want to thank our beverage sponsors. That is Bear Republic, providing the wonderful Racer 5 we all love. And the Wilson Artisan family of wines. They've got four different wines for you tonight. And they've donated it all, and the proceeds from that support this theater. So drink responsibly, but drink up. So let's bring out our MC. So let me tell you a little bit about her. And I also want to tell you, please forgive her if she lounges around on this clown chair because she's getting over that bug that we all got. So we wanted her to be a little more comfortable. Samantha Vega is a 10-year radio veteran who worked for 101.7 The Fox, uh, the rock of Sonoma County, during the majority of her career. For more than four years, she hosted the highest rated midday show in Sonoma County. Samantha has called Sonoma County her home for more than 20 years. During the day, she's a project manager for a locally owned creative agency. And in her spare time, she slings wine for Fogline Winery, Vin Fogline Vineyards. She's emceed several local events, including the Russian River Valley's single night, singles, there's, there must be more than one singles night, and the Healdsburg Museum's instant wine cellar and silent auction. So here on the arm of Mr. Healdsburg 2016, that's Philip Rea, is Samantha Vega. Hello, everybody. You're going to be seeing this guy a little bit later. He's going to come back out and do his farewell. Um, I anticipate a good musical something from you. Always. Philip Rea, everybody. How are you guys doing? That was lame. How are you guys doing? That was way better. <laughs> it's like you guys want to be here or something. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that we're here. It's another year. Uh, we had our uh, introduction meeting to the contestants about a month ago. And typically I think Carol and I like have our eyes set on like, oh, that one's gonna be really good. I don't know about that one, underdog, you know. No idea this year. 100% it is anyone's pageant. And these guys, cream of the crop, my friends. Uh, so, without further ado, I would like to bring them out one at a time so that you can see the goods that you will be voting on this evening. Are you guys ready? Let's bring them out one at a time. Your first contestant this evening, Aaron Hit, Mr. Bamboozled. Come on out, Aaron. Come on out. It's all right. He's so shy. Oh, oh. It's Go-Go the Greyhound! Oh, you're gonna be all right. You guys! Aaron hit tonight. Introduced by the one and only Go-Go the Greyhound, the Healdsburg mascot. He's gonna be rocking it tonight for you guys. He's done a lot of good planning. What, what teamwork? Well done. Our next contestant, put your hands together for Mr. Foodie Wine Guy, Jesse Malvesti. Jesse spent 20 years in the Coast Guard. He now works over at David Cafaro Wines. He's actually drank a beer in 22 different countries. Don't let his uh, rooting look deceive you. This guy is full of surprises. He's a single dad of a beautiful redhead little girl for over nine years. And he's, uh, he's going to show us 
his multiple, multiple sides tonight. Mr. Foodie Wine Guy, Jesse Malvesti. Our third contestant coming out on wheels, Eli Lucas, Mr. Sexy, Sexy Man. Don't worry, he does that all the time. Eli thinks that kitty cats are the best thing in the universe. He's got a difficult time trusting people with mustaches. But look at that spandex. Who cares, am I right? Our fourth contestant. Give it up for Drew Damsky, Mr. Forget Me Not. Drew seems very confident, as he usually is. However, his biggest fear is wigs. They totally creep him out. His favorite color is red. His favorite number is nine. And he's probably counted more Cheerios than you've eaten in a lifetime or 20. Give it up for Drew Dansky, Mr. Forget Me Not. Our fifth contestant. He's a smooth dogger, a lover of romance. Put your hands together for Mr. Author, Tony Correa. This gentleman, he's got six associate's degrees, ranging from economics to humanities. He's got a bachelor with the highest honors. Too many, con too many reconstructions, but that doesn't stop him. He is a lover, ladies, a lover. Your sixth contestant! He's very much been looking forward to this for many years. I know this, you know this. Mr. Fuego. Brian Crab! Although Brian was born and raised in Chico, he moved to Healdsburg in 2011 and absolutely loves this town. He's got a giant fan club out here tonight. He's been planning this for a few years and is proud to finally be on stage vying for the crown. Brian Kraft, Mr. Fuego. And to round out this motley crew. We love you, Brian. <laughs> Our seventh contestant this evening. He's got multiple personalities. Very, very straight up by day and a little crazy by night. It is Lance Ozanix, Mr. Schizo! If you've ever met anybody who can shred, it's this guy. We don't mean paper, ladies and gentlemen. We mean guitars. Lance was born and raised in Hillsburg, comes to us tonight to vie for the crown in his most intense form. Mr. Schizo, Lance Ozanix. Put your hands together for our seven contestants this evening. All right, guys, I'm gonna invite you to go off stage. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, go off stage. This wouldn't be a show without a certain somebody giving you a proper send off. Please put your hands together for our show producer, director, and singer extraordinaire, Carol Noah.
We run into each other at wineries all the time. Never met a Pinot she doesn't like, and uh, I hope that tonight one of these guys really tickle your fancy sister. Give it up for our judges for tonight's competition. Are you ready? Yeah, that, that was your cue. Are you guys ready? You hips, you hips are kind of a big deal. You got your snacks, you guys are good. Are you guys ready? Yeah, all right guys. All right, we're gonna start our talent portion this evening with Mr. Marker himself. Let's bring out Aaron Hitt, Mr. Van Boozled. We have, yeah. we have a situation. We have a, what happened? We have a problem. Happened? We have a problem. I'm oh, sorry. We yeah. have, my assistants didn't show up. Oh, well, we have plenty of No, no, no. I, I have very trained I assistants that are good at double dutch. I've been trained. Why did you say that? 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 Yes. They're wonderful assistants. I hope so. Their names are Ty and Marty. Ty's really great. Ty? Ty okay. and Marty. Yeah, Ty's Marty. Great. Yeah. Marty's a little oh. okay. But he's yeah. really nice. Yeah. Um, can we bring up Ty and Marty? These guys will be great for you, I promise. Uh. Ty and Marty! Present. Have a good night. Aaron Hitt, 
ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bam Boozled. Oh, hey. That's going to be worth some money later. You can probably sell that for one of these right now. Oh, my God, that was amazing. I got to tell you, I was not ready for that, you guys. The best part of the show, when it's said true, is I don't know what anyone's talent is going to be until this happens. So I'm watching it with you. Genuinely excited. Man, that was good. I want to have my own dance party. That was good. All right. We're going we're gonna to slow it down a little bit, it looks like. That's a nice, cool bit of that. We're going to welcome on stage our second contestant, Jesse Alvesti, Mr. Foodie Wet Man. What's up, everybody? I am Mr. Foodie Wine Guy, and it would be my privilege to represent this great city as Mr. Healdsburg in the year of 2017. So please put the pen to the paper and vote for me. I keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel. I keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel. Yeah, we're going to the roadhouse, gonna have a real, a good time. Those so At the back of the roadhouse, they got some bungalows. At the back of the roadhouse, they got some bungalows. And that's for the people who like to go down slow. Ow. Let it roam, baby, roam. Let it roam, baby, roam. Let it roam, baby, roam. Let it roam. Come on, everybody, get up! You gotta roll, 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 gonna feel my soul all right. Roll, 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 I feel my soul all right. That's young lady, that's young lady, give up your bows, give up your bows, save our city, save our city, right now. This morning I got myself a beer. Well, I woke up this morning, I got myself a beer. Well, the future's uncertain and the end is always near. Let it roll, baby, roll. Let it roll, baby, roll. Let it roll, baby, roll. Let it roll all night long. <laughs> Jesse Malvesti, Mr. Foodie One Guy. Did you guys really see those pants? Jesse, he's single. I have no shame in my game. None whatsoever. All right. We're going to bring in our next contestant. He's 
very, very unforgettable, Mr. Forget Not True Dancy.
okay? I'm concerned. Is he okay? Will he make it? Do we need to call somebody? Is there help in the audience? It looks like she's got it, stilettos and all. I don't know if he's gonna make it. I, I suppose we'll see when we get to beachwear. Although, how much less could you possibly wear? All right, Eli Lucas, Mr. Sexy, Sexy Man. Very unique character, that one. All right, we're gonna keep the ball rolling here with our next contestant. You know the romantic at heart. Put your hands together for Mr. Author, Tony Correa. Oh, hey. What's up, good looking? That's some good form you got there. Keep going. Just own it. You look good. Oh, he looks good.
You guys, you probably couldn't see it through here, although you guys probably could. That guy's butt could crack walnuts. Just saying. I think, I think, I, I don't know if he's single, so I can't like put him out there like that, but his butt could crack walnuts. You're welcome. The, the benefit of being the MC. I'm getting all the goods tonight, you guys. Katie, we should connect after the show. I think, uh, I think this guy has been dying to get on stage, if I'm not mistaken. I've heard tidbits of this said talent. And uh, I think it really all comes down to execution. I think you will be also as entertained if this executes according to plan. The suspense is killing you. Put your hands together for Brian Crabb, Mr. Fuego!
was amazing! That was amazing! Am I right? 100% sister. I would also put him on a cracker. Uh, I have never in my life anticipated the desire to see Top Gun in under four minutes. Until that happened. Kudos to Mr. Fuego and his cohorts. That was beautifully executed. I cried when Goose died. Changing it up a little bit. Uh, I would warn you guys up front that your faces may or may not melt off in a really good way. Uh, I actually knew this guy way back in my radio days when I was just a wee little muffin. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing him tonight. Uh, he is a stellar, stellar guitar player. And uh, I look forward to uh, having him entertain you this evening. So please, without further ado, Lance Ozanix, Mr. Schizo! Yes. 
so... Uh, see, even a guy in a motorcycle leather jacket could be so sweet. That was like metal in spring. That was awesome. I loved it. Well, what did you guys think? Absolutely a little bit of everything. Uh, this is just the beginning. This is only phase one, if you will. Uh, we've got two more portions coming, but don't forget, now is the most important time for you guys to vote. Uh, momentarily, we're going to break for an intermission, but don't forget that in the lobby, all of the guys have boxes. Please put your dollars, vote for these guys. Remember that ultimately, there is a Mr. Congeniality. There will be a Mr. Hillsburg 2017. But remember that ultimately, this is a fundraiser. We're so happy that you guys are here tonight. I want to give props again to Bear Republic and Wilson Artists and Wines for providing the libations for the evening. So get yourself a glass, go vote, and we'll be back with Beachwear in 15 minutes. Thanks, guys.